So all I'm saying is, would you rather fight 1,000 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? That's, that, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying, you yeah? know? Yeah? Well, uh, see you later, a group of incredibly hot women. Are we recording? <laughs> you know what's more American than football? Superstars. Uh -oh. I made a little bit of money. Superstars in a variety of events, such as... Ping pong! Like obstacles. It's the perfect choice for anyone who's interested. Or if you like sitting, musical chairs is a great choice. or weightlifting. Superstars is a chance to show off your athleticism and how swole you are. Those are just a few of the events at Superstars. Hey, Ryan, go long. Superstars 2K16, sign up during all three lunches. Catch you later, Wilson. We'll fold details on current and upcoming scholarships. And we have information about superstars. That and more is up next. The Worry News starts now. Weather, news, sports, and more. This is the Warrior News, reporting at 7.43 a.m. with Tyler Dittmars and Ryan Taylor. The Warrior News starts right now. Good morning, Wilson. Today is Friday, March 18th, 2016. My name is Tyler. And I'm Ryan. Attention students, the last day to order a yearbook is now April 11th. Kaplan will be hosting free last minute prep for the ACT on April 9th. Kaplan's cram sessions are intensive 60 and 90 minute online classes taught by expert Kaplan instructors. Students will learn the most important material to boost their score in every section of the ACT and will walk into the test day feeling prepared and confident. Students can register online at www.captest.com slash free cram. Seniors who have, have seen Ms. White about community service hours hand in completed typed hour logs by March 30th. Please be sure to include appropriate signatures. Thank you. Special Olympic volunteer t-shirt order forms and checks for $5 payable to Joe T's must be returned to Miss David by today. Students who do not return the t-shirt order form and money to Miss David will not have a t-shirt for the Special Olympics event on May 5th. Time is running out, people. Get the money in. The John Byron Memorial Scholarship is now available. Deadline is April 29th. See the black rack outside of the guidance office or the guidance office webpage for any more information. The Avona Elementary, Wilson Borough Elementary, and Williams Township Elementary School PTA scholarships are now available. The deadline is March 30th. Superstar sign-ups are available. Sign up during lunch A and C in the school store. Be sure to get your t-shirt to participate. It only costs a whopping five dollars. You know, that, that Abraham Lincoln right there. AM CIT students can be excused from CIT the day of Superstars if they are signed up for an event and purchase a t-shirt. The Sydney R. Kent Memorial Scholarship is now available. If you played at least three years of either football or baseball, the deadline is April 30th, 2016. The Women's Business Council of the Greater Lehigh Valley Chamber of Commerce Scholarship is now available for a senior female whose parent or guardian is an employee of a member of the chamber. The deadline is April 1st. The Jewish Family Services Scholarship are now available to Jewish high school seniors. The deadline is April 15th. The Jennifer Bartholomew Memorial Scholarship is now available to a senior planning to major in education. Deadline is May 1st. Good morning, Wilson. It's your favorite movie reviewer, previewer, critic, Brian O'Brien. And we're here today to discuss what films you should see while on your fantastic spring break from Wilson High School. 
The first film we have is Midnight Special, directed by Jeff Nichols. It's been compared as a modern day version of the classic Steven Spielberg film, E.T., where a father learns that his son has supernatural powers and he must try to outrun people trying to capture his son for these powers. It looks amazing and it premiered at a few film festivals already and has rave reviews. The second film we have is called The Program. It is the story of the journalist who uncovered the uh, Lance Armstrong uh, controversy where it was discovered that he was doing steroids, which is directed by Stephen Frears, an Oscar nominated director. It looks very intelligent and looks like it could be nominated for a few awards if it was released later in the year. I'm still excited to see it though because the story looks very interesting. Those films I just mentioned are released this weekend and coming up next weekend is a few huge releases, one being Batman vs Superman, which I know a lot of you know will be released and I will be trying to go as soon as I can to see it because I grew up watching all the DC television shows, grew up reading the comics and it should be fantastic. I have faith but it could be terrible as well because they're trying to do too much. Could be too ambitious, but nonetheless, I'm very excited to see it and I know a lot of you are too. Another film that was already been released, but you should definitely check out is 10 Cloverfield Lane, which is the sequel, kind of, to the 2009 film Cloverfield about a giant monster tearing up a city. This one is going a bit of a different direction where it's more of the monsters of humanity and starring John Goodman, a few other actors, very small budget film, but it's supposed to be terrific, horrific, and it's supposed to be a massive thriller that you should definitely check out if you have time to go to the theater over break. I've been Ryan O'Brien, and this has been your Spring Break Film Preview. Dismissed. Before we go today, reminder to the senior class, the class photo will be taken on Tuesday at 10 o'clock in the morning on the front steps of the building. This is the day that we return from spring break, so remember to dress nice. This is all we have for today, Wilson. Enjoy your spring break. Have a great spring break. We're out of here. April, just to come back, literally. But does that mean that Kate of Corley is Illuminati? You can, you have, yeah, now you have the opportunity to speak to young kids.